Good morning. It is an honor for me to welcome students, parents, family members, and teachers to our virtual eighth grade awards ceremony. My name is Mr. Small and I'm the principal at Fugit Middle School. Please join me in saying the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag and remain standing for the Star Spangled Banner. Please join me from your living rooms as we stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Before we begin, I would like to take this opportunity to thank my two assistant principals for all of their hard work this school year. Mrs. Puchala, who oversees the daily interactions of our seventh grade students, and your very own Dr. Mattia, who works with our eighth grade class. Also, thank you to our eighth grade team leaders, Ms. Subasic and Mrs. Abbott, as well as our eighth grade guidance counselor, Ms. Simpson. I also want to direct a special thank you to our eighth grade teachers who are committed to the success of every student and continue to take personal interest in their academic, social, and emotional development. They truly embody the Fugit Middle School motto, which is motivate, educate, and inspire. I also want to thank all of you, our parents and guardians, to whom we are very grateful for your partnership your commitment, and your support. No one knew that we would be in the position where parents are now known as co-teachers. This is the new definition of partners in learning. You've sent me messages of encouragement for our teachers in school, sharing how you have a new appreciation for what it means to be a teacher. Now it's my turn. We appreciate you for standing in the gap for teaching, connecting, asking questions, answering questions, waking sleepy heads up in the morning, and all the additional tasks of being a super mom, super dad, or super guardian. Working by day as an employee at your job and by same day as co-educator is not an easy task. I know you may be saying, I do what I have to for my child, I'm stating that I appreciate that you do. Thank you. In time of uncertainty, it is great to know that there is at least one constant for normalcy. Teachers and students doing what they have to do and have done so many times before, meeting at a common place and interacting around information, continuing to make sense of the unfamiliar, teaching and learning never stopped taking place. Today we recognize and celebrate the achievements and accomplishments of our eighth grade students. These students exhibit qualities that will not only help them in achieving their goals, but also bring success to our school and our community. We are extremely proud of their academic achievements, but also want to give due notice to values and morals which these awardees exemplify by discipline, compassion, and a zeal for learning. Therefore, without further ado, 
I would like to present the first award of the morning, the American Legion Award, the Bernard F. Shagel Award to Ava Klaus and Ryan Price. Our next awards are for outstanding achievement in music. Thank you. Hi everyone. The music department is here to present some special awards to recognize the achievements and the superior efforts of some of our eighth grade music students. I'll begin with some band awards. This message is for my eighth grade band students. It was really difficult for me to select only a few of you to receive these national awards. All of you have worked so hard and come so far. Knowing you, teaching you, and watching you become outstanding young musicians has been a true joy in my life. Thank you for trusting me to guide you on this journey and know that I wish each and every one of you tremendous success in high school and beyond. The John Philip Sousa Band Award is presented in recognition of outstanding achievement and interest in instrumental music for singular merit in loyalty and cooperation and for displaying those high qualities of conduct that school instrumental music requires. The winner receives a certificate and this little marble statue and a handy dandy pin with John Philip Sousa on it. And the winner of the John Philip Sousa Award for band is Chloe Bidegary. The next National Band Award is the National Directors Award for band. It is given to a student who for three years has consistently demonstrated the highest levels of musical achievement and set an amazing examples of, of leadership and selfless dedication to doing whatever is asked of them for the good of the ensemble. The recipient of this award has been the embodiment of unbridled exuberance. And truth be told, he has been occasionally exhausting to try to keep up with. This student has been a true light in my life for three years, and I will never forget his boundless energy and determined attitude. The recipient receives this plaque, and it is my very great honor to present the 2020 National Directors Award for Band to Ricky Heath. And finally, the Louis Armstrong Jazz Award. The Fugit Jazz Band is a very special group of people. Bright, enthusiastic, energetic, and eager to perform at the highest level. The jazz band members work very hard every morning from early November until the school closure in mid-March. As fate and truly bad luck would have it, they never had the opportunity to present a single public performance. But I hope that they know how pleased with and proud of them I am. And I sincerely hope that they will all continue to enjoy involvement in jazz activities in their future. The Louis Armstrong Jazz Award is presented in recognition of outstanding achievements in the field of jazz as demonstrated through superior musicianship, character, and individual creativity. The winner, once again, receives a certificate and a little desk statue, as well as a pin. And the 2020 recipient of the Louis Armstrong Award for Jazz is Giuliano Bucciarelli. And now Mr. Selfo will present some special orchestra awards. Well, I feel very lucky because I have the opportunity to continue working with these fine eighth graders next year uh, at East High School. So I am going to get right to the chase and 
give my awards for most improved. The most improved award this year goes to Jude Bennett Johnson. And our most valuable player awards go to Mr. Alex Chen and Ms. Mia DeVito. Thank you so much for your service for the past two years for me and all of your years playing in the orchestras through elementary school all the way on up through East. Thank you um, for a great first half of the year. We really were looking forward to a, a couple of great events, um, Hershey Park trip and um, some, some concerts that we hadn't, hadn't had a chance to play. So I'm looking forward to our virtual concert next week. Oh, that's, thank you very much, Mr. Hill. Thanks, Tim. The next set of awards will be for our chorus students. Um, and first, I'd like to take an opportunity to uh, thank and congratulate the members of the eighth grade chorus. Uh, you had obviously a shortened year, um, but you had a wonderful um, winter concert with the East Choir. Um, we had a lot of growth over the course of the year and over the last three years. I'm very proud of the hard work you've put in. I'm saddened and heartbroken that you didn't have the opportunity to, um, to have that culminating activity to perform your concert um, in the spring, but I have no doubt uh, that you will go far. I hope that all of you continue singing and continue in music in some way. And uh, I wish you nothing but the best wherever your road takes you. We have several awards that I'm going to be presenting. The first set of awards are the Choral Spirit Awards. These awards are given yearly by me to recognize students who have gone above and beyond in their support of the choral music program. They've worked hard not only to learn their part, but also to encourage others to work harder. Um, they have a excitement for music, a, an excitement for choral singing, and that shows in their everyday interaction in the music program. There are several of these students because this class has been rather tremendous. Um, they've been such a hardworking class, a humble class, and uh, I didn't want to, them to leave without being recognized. So the students that are winning this year's Choral Spirit Awards are as follows. Alexa Rogers, Liam Wine, Katie Karkeneg, Sarah Mento, Ava Hughes, Stella Ramelli, and Emma Foley. Congratulations to all of you for your hard work and dedication. The National Directors Award um, is given to a student with a uh, incredibly high sense of dedication to uh, to the choral program at their school, uh, encouraging others to work hard and leading the way by example. This student has been with the uh, Fuga Chorus for all three years. Uh, she is an embodiment of what all of those ideals are. Uh, she um, has, uh, you know, taken on any uh, voice part that I've asked her to. Uh, she started out as an alto and then sang soprano and then sang soprano and alto uh, in different groups. Uh, she takes on any harmony you can throw at her um, and has been marvelous doing all of it and doing all of it with a smile on her face. She was involved with uh, Corral for all three years, PMEA Chorus Fest, has been a lead in our musicals, and has just been a fantastic student. And uh, I'm so excited to see what the future holds for her. Uh, the winner of this year's Director's Award for Chorus goes to Alexi Tenteris. Finally, the National School Choral Award is given out in, throughout the country uh, to students who, uh, who are recognized for singular merit, ability, and achievement of outstanding contributions to the success of the school vocal program and of an unusual degree of loyalty cooperation, and high qualities of conduct by the general consent of the music faculty, school officials, and others. This year's recipient for Fugit Middle School demonstrates all of that uh, ever since she was in sixth grade uh, in, in chorus and in chorale. She has been a frequent soloist, an outstanding singer, and a, a wonderful and humble student 
uh, who has always worked to improve her craft and encourage others around her. And I'm so, so happy and glad that I've had the opportunity to work with her for three years. This year's National School Choral Award winner for Puget Middle School is Elizabeth Matthew. Congratulations to all of the choral winners. And at this time, I'm going to turn it back over to Mrs. Voice. It has been my pleasure and an honor to serve as a Unified Arts team leader for the past several years. Your Unified Arts teachers are an incredible group of inspiring professional educators. Here are the criteria for outstanding achievement awards in Unified Arts subject areas. Number one, high academic achievement or extraordinary accomplishments in the subject area. Number two, outstanding work ethic. Third, perseverance and diligence. Fourth, the qualities of an exceptional team player. And finally, willingness to help others and to show leadership. And now your non-ensemble eighth grade music class teachers will announce the names of their Outstanding Achievement Award winners. Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Werner. I first wanna say what a pleasure it was to get to know the students in the eighth grade classroom music classes this season. Um, it's too bad that I didn't get to meet the fourth marking period class, but I had a great time with all the other three. So it gives me great pleasure at this time to announce my recipient of the Outstanding Achievement Award for Eighth Grade Classroom Music, and the recipient is Grant Kazanjian. Congratulations. My recipient of the Outstanding Achievement Award in Eighth Grade Classroom Music is Audrey Oshop. Hi everyone, this is Mr. Rish. Uh, my recipient for the Outstanding Achievement Award in Popular Music is Joseph Carcello. My recipient, for Outstanding Achievement in Popular Music is Jude Bennett Johnson. Congratulations to all of these Outstanding Achievement winners who are truly deserving recipients of these awards. And that'll wrap it up for the music department now. Uh, we, we miss you. We wish you all the best at East High School and beyond. Have a terrific summer. We we'll now turn the program over to Mr. Hill, who will present the Drama Club Awards. I'm back. Thanks, Mrs. Voice, for that charming introduction. Those of you who don't know me, I'm Mr. Hill, and I'm here to present the Drama Club Awards for this year's eighth grade class. Obviously, this year has not gone the way that any of us any of us had hoped, uh, or any of us could have predicted, quite frankly. I mean, heck, nobody even had me wearing a beard, for heaven's sake. But here we are. The Drama Club worked very hard over the course of uh, this year to prepare our production of Aladdin Jr. And um, we wanted to honor those students, not only for their dedication this year, uh, but in all of these cases, uh, these students have been involved with Drama Club for multiple years and, uh, and have really risen to the challenges of being leaders in the Drama Club. And Mrs. Mizak and I are very proud of uh, all of you, uh, all of the parent helpers as well, uh, Mrs. Schneider uh, and the art crew. Um, we're all really proud of all of the work that you've put in, and we thank you. Uh, our Forest Award, speaking of Mrs. Schneider, uh, goes to our Outstanding Artist of the Year. And uh, this student, uh, in Mrs. Schneider's words, um, it, does, it was described as being incredibly helpful, uh, very creative, and a great leader. And in a uh, large uh, crew, like art crew, um, all of those are very important traits. And so uh, I'd like to congratulate our winner of Outstanding Artist uh, for the Drama Club, um, Sophie Danishevsky. Our second set of awards go to um, three leaders uh, within the stage crew. 
Uh, we often uh, give one or maybe two stage crew awards, uh, but this year we felt it particularly fitting to honor three young ladies for their tremendous effort and dedication to Drama Club and to the stage crew. Uh, our first of those three uh, w was slated to be our stage manager, which is an incredibly important role um, in our productions. And we congratulate Cece DeLuca for all of your hard work and for earning one of the Outstanding Stage Crew Leaders Awards. Our other two awards uh, go to our prop mavens. Um, if you saw the secret passageway uh, or the closet between my room and the auditorium stage any time from February on, you saw it filled with a bunch of golden props. And the two women who took those and protected them and organized them and made sure that no one touched them without their consent were our two other winners for Outstanding Leadership and Stage Crew. Uh, they go to Natalie Lynch and Kayla Miller. Congratulations, ladies. All three of you are going to miss terribly in next year, uh, but we wish you well. And now we move on to the Outstanding Actor Awards. Every year where you present two actors uh, for uh, an award for their tremendous dedication to the drama club, their outstanding work on the stage. Um, and this is not just a one-year award. It's usually a, a bit of a lifetime achievement, lifetime achievement award. And uh, the first award goes to a young lady who has been in our cast for all three years. When she auditioned, I would say, hey, are you interested in a, a bigger role? Do you think you could handle that this year? She would say, well, whatever, but I'm just happy to be in the cast. And that kind of energy combined with talent uh, and that kind of humility um, will take this young lady far no matter where she goes. And so the first uh, Outstanding Actor Award, which looks nothing like this, but it's a good stand-in. Uh, our first Outstanding Actor Award goes to Abby Ruth. Congratulations to Abby. Finally, our last award for Drama Club goes to another actor. Uh, she has been in casts for three years. She has been a phenomenal member of the cast all three years. She worked incredibly hard to make sure that she was ready to go when we started rehearsals. Um, uh, she has played a soldier or a knight. She has played... Uh, um, Michaela TV um, and then this year uh, did a fantastic job taking on the role of the genie in Aladdin and so the other outstanding actor award goes to Ms. Emma Foley alright that's all for me um, Obviously, Drama Club, we love all of you. Uh, on behalf of Mrs. Mizak and myself and all of the parent helpers, um, you, we are going to miss our eighth graders. Uh, we wish you nothing but the best. I can't wait to see what you guys pull off in high school. Um, you know I'll be in that audience, and you know I'll be cheered and loud. Um, please continue to be involved in the arts and in drama as much as you can. Um, we will miss you, and we wish you all the best. Uh, as we continue down the road. And with that being said, I'd like to pass it on to the art department. Hello, eighth grade students and family. Thank you for celebrating virtually with us today. I'm Mrs. McCain with the art teachers here at Fugit. And I'm Mrs. Schneider. And today we are going to honor some of the very talented artists that we have here. Mrs. Schneider and I had a hard time narrowing down the recipients for the Outstanding uh, Art Award this year because of all the talent in the eighth grade class this year. But after much debate, we would like to recognize the following students for their talent in art. Caroline Ruttero, Cecilia Evans, <laughs> Mia DeVito, and uh, Natalie Golden. Woo! Good job. <laughs> In addition, Ms. Schneider and I would like to recognize two students for a special award. The Golden Paintbrush Award is given to students who exude excellence and extreme talent in both 2D and 3D art. 
The two we have chosen have impressed us with their art for the last three years. This award goes to the person who designed this year's awesome eighth grade t-shirt. She's a very talented and creative artist, Jeannie Shore. And to a student who is naturally talented in art with her ideas always beautifully displayed visually, Grace Slusser. Congratulations to all eighth grade students. We look forward to seeing many of you with art displayed at the Senior Art Show at East in the next four years. We have really miss seeing you guys in the art room. Congratulations. Congratulations. Hi, eighth graders. The following awards are being presented for Family and Consumer Sciences. The students who are receiving the awards stepped up during their time in one or more of our classes to be leaders, role models, and team players. They excelled in developing the everyday skills needed to become a successful adult, and we look forward to seeing how they will continue to have a positive impact on the community around them. The first award for Family and Consumer Sciences goes to a student who demonstrated hard work and a most positive attitude. This student made me proud each day by her eagerness to step up and help those around her. I'm very happy to present this award to Ava Klaus. Congrats, Ava, and best of luck in high school. Hey, eighth grade families and friends. My award for FCS goes to a student who constantly encouraged his classmates, volunteered for multiple activities, and took on a leadership role when needed. A student whose enthusiasm and positive attitude are both contagious and appreciated. That student is Jack Long. Congrats, Jack, and continue to be a rock star in high school. Hello to everyone. I miss you all. This award for Family Consumer Sciences goes to a student who is conscientious with herself and others, actively seeks leadership roles, and isn't afraid to ask for input and direction. This student is Emma Campbell. Congratulations, Emma, and best wishes as you move into high school. Speaking of, I would like to let you all know that I am also moving to high school at East as the foods teacher next year. So when we all return to high school, I will be there with you and looking forward to seeing all of you. Each of us here on this call from Family Consumer Sciences wish the best for all of you as you move into the next chapter of your lives. We are here this morning to honor some kids that excelled in health and phys ed this year. For our phys ed award, we were looking for kids that not only came to class every day ready to go, but more importantly, were a good teammate to their friends and other peers in the class. From my class, I'd like to honor Alexa Rogers. From my class, I'd like to honor Carly McElveen. For my class, I'd like to honor Ryan Price. In health class, we were also looking for students who went above and beyond to help their peers, excelled in health, and were very engaging throughout the entire year. In my class, I would like to honor Nolan Duggan. In my class, I'd like to honor Claire Ruttero. And in, for Mr. Washington, he would like to honor Elizabeth Alexis. Thank you and enjoy your summer. Hello, eighth grade. The award for Outstanding Achievement in Sustainable Design goes to Ryan Price. Congratulations, Ryan. Hi, I'm Mrs. Trombley, and I'm pleased to announce that the Technology Engineering Transportation Award goes to James J.J. Stunda. Congratulations, J.J. Science Olympiad is an after-school academic team for students interested in delving deeply into science and technology activities in a very competitive environment. There are 23 events, such as Disease Detectives, Broomy Lever, and Road Scholar. The emphasis is on teamwork and a commitment to excellence with a focus on problem solving and hands-on, minds-on activities in the areas of science, engineering, and technology. Although all students are welcome to try out for the team, only 15 can be chosen to compete on our varsity team at regional and state competitions as per the national rules. To earn one of these coveted slots, students spend much time, nights and weekends, 
working on three to four events to become experts in those specific fields. This year's team did an amazing job, earning assorted medals at two invitational competitions and at the regional competition. What makes this year's team extraordinary is the fact that they qualified to go to the state competition, a very difficult feat because only the top 25% of all teams in the state achieve this challenging goal. I want you to know that these eighth grade students were doing high school AP work, very difficult, competing against the best teams in Southeastern Pennsylvania. They put in many hours of work on their events and they took advantage of the opportunities of many adults who helped them. Unfortunately, COVID-19 forced the cancellation of the state competition, but that did not damper the strong spirit of our team members and the fact that they earned a slot at states. We are very grateful to the support of teachers, administrators, and all of the parents who helped too. And a special thank you goes out to Mr. and Mrs. Burley for the many hours they volunteered to helping our team. I congratulate the following eighth grade students on a job well done. Ritu Desu, Nishan Duba, Shrevan Rajagopal, Shivanan Sa, James JJ Standa, and Neil Verma. I hope to see you come back next year to help with Fugit's team. I wish you well at East and hope that you have a great summer. Thank you. Hello parents and eighth graders. While all students should be commended for their persistence and flexibility through the challenging journey of remote learning, today the English department would like to recognize a few students for their diligence, enthusiasm, and outstanding achievement in English this school year. These individuals never shied away from hard work, but instead embraced and engaged in every new learning opportunity presented their way, thus demonstrating a true definition of what it means to be a student. Today, I am proud to acknowledge Dominique Dillard. Congratulations, Dominique. And I'm proud to recognize Hannah Koya for her excellence in language arts this year. Congratulations, Hannah. Today, I'd like to recognize Kaylee Kearns for her outstanding work in language arts. Congrats, Kaylee. Today, I would like to acknowledge Amelia McKee. Congratulations, Amelia. Best wishes to you all as you transition into high school. We wish you a safe and healthy summer. I'm Mrs. Lawrence. I teach reading and writing for life. The student I would like to honor this year is not only an exemplary student, but works hard every day to prove it. Her efforts showed a great deal of thought and understanding all year through, including during our school closure. She is an example of what an outstanding student and reader should be. I am proud to announce that the award for outstanding achievement in reading and writing for life goes to Abby Ruth. Congratulations, Abby, and good luck. Hi, I'm Tom Swift, and I'm here with the Reverend Dr. Douglas McGillivray and technology producer extraordinaire Becky Peters, and this is Crash Course U.S. History. Today we are going to discuss your eighth grade year, class of 2024, and what a memorable year it was. From a normal school start in the fall to a snowless winter in which students yearn for a day off to a pandemic in which many students will need a cure from their Netflix addiction, Fortnite all-nighters, and a thorough TikTok detox. Let's look back at some of this year's best memories. We certainly covered a lot in history class this year, whether it was in the classroom or out on the road in places like Annapolis, Maryland, where we got our Gangnam style on at the United States Naval Academy or Philadelphia, where we toured the city streets just like our founding fathers did in the 18th century. Dub C was next, where we walked and toured our historic town and played competitive games in Marshall Square Park. Four score and 101 days ago, Yassine Jackson won the Gettysburg Address. In December, nobody descended to go and see the notorious RBG at the Jewish American History Museum or to take a trip to the Christmas Village in Philadelphia. February, 
the United States Capitol, Library of Congress, and the National Museum of African American History and Culture was a perfect way to cap Black History Month. Then history happened, and changes had to come. But it doesn't mean that there aren't reasons to celebrate. In May, 19 students, eight Fugit groups, competed at the state finals of National History Day. Three groups received honorable mention, and three students are moving on to the national finals. Congratulations and good luck, Ethan, Joseph, and Zachary. Finally, as students, you completed your work for the entire United States history curriculum, from the Constitution to the Progressive Era. Whether it was in the classroom or over Zoom, you are truly testaments to the history that we are now living. Well done. It is now time for today's mystery document. Mr. McGee here for John Green. You guys know how this works. I take the mystery document right here. and I have the electric pen in my hand. If I get it right, I'm safe. If I miss it, I get zapped. So let's see what the document has to say today. This organization founded in October of 1890 during a time that was marked by a revival of patriotism and intense interest in the beginning of the United States of America. Women felt the desire to express their patriotic feelings and were frustrated by their exclusion from men's organizations formed to perpetuate the memory of ancestors who fought to make this country free and independent. As a result, a group of pioneering women in the nation's capital formed their own organization, which has carried the torch of patriotism ever since. This one I happen to know. This refers to the Daughters of the American Revolution who formed their organization because the sons of the American Revolution denied them admittance into their society. Not only that, but every year the Daughters of the American Revolution give an award to one outstanding student in the Fugit eighth grade, a student who demonstrates citizenship, honor, service, scholarship, and patriotism. This year's award goes to Audrey Beckman. I know I'm safe on that one. In addition, we have three other students we'd like to recognize for outstanding achievement in history. These are the recipients of the J.R. Fugit History Scholar Award. The first one I know for a certainty is Alex Chen. Alex was an outstanding student in my history class this year. He came with energy, intelligence, imagination, excellent questions. Alex, I'm sorry for all the times I had to temporarily put you on mute so other students could participate in class as well but you were awesome. In addition, I know we have two other winners, Katie Mina and Nolan Dugan. Let's hear a little bit more about them and see if I'm still safe. You are correct, Mr. McGee. I would like to honor Nolan Duggan with the History Award. Um, from the beginning of the year, he demonstrated his passion for history through his detailed writing, participating in class, serving as John Adams in the election of 1800, competing in National History Day, where he received an honorable mention at the state level. And so all of these things really show that he deserves this award, and I'm excited to see where his history skills will take him in the future. You are correct. It was Katie Mina, who's an outstanding student in history, an evident love of history. She's a leader in the classroom. She was always more excited to visit historical sites and go on field trips than I was. Uh, she has an insatiable desire to learn, which was evident last week when she sent me an email wanting to know if there are any extra credit opportunities that she could do while at home for history class. So congratulations, Katie. So any final thoughts that we have this year? Mr. McGee. We made the best of a very unique historical situation. It's nothing that we wanted, but we did make the best of it. But in this case, I hope history does not repeat itself. Ms. Peters. We just appreciate you guys working so hard at the end of this year, uh, and we're excited to see where life takes you in the future. Thank you for a great school year. I hope you can make some fun memories this summer as you stay happy, healthy, and safe. And I look forward to when our paths cross again, hopefully soon. So thank you for watching. And we'll see you next school year. Hi, Mr. Basic here. It's great to see everyone again. It's been way too long. It is my honor today to acknowledge a student who throughout the year not only maintained an A average um, all four marking periods, but was enthusiastic, inquisitive, and had just such a warm, caring personality that I thought of this person right away. He always volunteered during class even when I couldn't get anyone else to speak up because it was early in the morning. When he asked questions, he always asked very inquisitive questions. And he was always respectful 
and just curious. And that is going to carry him a long way in life as a student. And finally, he's just a kind, warm person to be around. His, his peers loved him. I enjoyed having him. So it is with great honor that I present my math award this year to Luke Berry from my second period algebra class. Luke, good luck. Thank you for doing such a great job this year. I'll miss you. Bye. Hi, Puget family. Mrs. Abbott here. Before I recognize my math award recipient, I wanted to recognize all of the eighth graders and say what an absolute pleasure it has been teaching you this year, possibly coaching you in the past and advising some of you in student council over the years. I'm so sorry we are not able to be face to face to end this year, but I wanna say thank you for all your efforts during our online learning time. We are so proud of your hard work and we thank you. Considering what an amazing year it has been, it's been truly tough to decide on who to pick for my award. I want to extend a thank you to all my students for their hard work and dedication in geometry with big ideas and her very many proofs, algebra with navigating through so many topics and dealing with my many worksheets a day, and a big shout out to Pre-Algebra for taking on our new pilot program with Desmos. You all adapted so well to the change in style of learning with all of our math investigation online, which actually ended up being helpful during our remote learning here. Because of this new program, I decided to make Pre-Algebra my class choice for an award recipient, which slightly lessened the sea of amazing candidates this year. My outstanding achievement and math award goes to a student who has proven to strengthen her confidence in math since day one. She is seen as a true leader of her class. In addition to constant preparation and great grades, her willingness to help out other classmates and advocate for herself was exceptional. All of these statements and more are the reason my award goes to Gianna Cotalesa. Congratulations. I wish you nothing but the best. I wish I was giving you this award face to face, but you should be very proud of yourself for all of your hard work. I know teachers present and past agree that you deserve this. Best of luck in your future. I see nothing but bright things. Now, for all you eighth graders, thank you. Thank you for a great year. Best of luck to you all. Congratulations, and hopefully I'll see you soon. Hey, hey, Puget family. I'm so excited to present my math award to the student who actually did the best all year in overall cumulative assessment scores. Um, and she also did a wonderful job asking questions and advocating for herself when she was confused. She did a great job coming in for lunch and making sure to check out videos um, outside school as well, just to make sure she understood the content we were going over. Um, so what I see in this student is a true lifelong learner who's going to be able to learn anything she wants moving forward. So I really hope you use this award in your application at MIT in just a few years. Uh, congratulations to Emma Campbell. I know you'll go on to do really great things. You're presenting the award for Outstanding Achievement in Science for my class. This year has been a difficult year to pick uh, an outstanding achiever in science because you have all done such a wonderful and amazing job. The recipient of this award has held the highest grade in the class, demonstrated consistently hard work and a positive attitude, working well with group members and participating in class. It is with my pleasure that I present the award for Outstanding Achievement in Science to Miss Mia DeVito. Hello, eighth grade parents, students, teachers, um, to this virtual uh, award ceremony. This is Laura Mazzagatti for eighth grade science. I wanted to congratulate a young lady in receiving the Outstanding Achievement in Science Award this year. This young lady has learned uh, a great deal over the past few months and does so with tenacity, perseverance, determination, never stops asking questions, the sign of a true scientist. Um, this young lady is doing this all in a, her second language. So please join me in congratulating this year's Outstanding Achievement in Science Award is going to Rowan Alshaban. 
Congratulations. I know you will continue to do great things and enjoy your summer off. Oh, dude, I have this eighth grade award ceremony. I think I'm going to be late. I thought I was going to be on time. We're live right now. Oh, I uh, guess that's why the camera's right here right now. It makes sense. Yeah. Plus, you're not wearing a watch. Thought it was a watch anyways. Uh, good morning, eighth grade teachers, eighth grade parents, and most importantly, eighth grade students. Uh, I'm Mr. G. I teach science here at Fugit. Uh, it was really hard for me to pick one student to give my science award to. Uh, for this year, though, I give my science award to Luke Einan, or as I like to say, Luke Enyo. Uh, Enyo, you're a constant participator in class. Uh, you're always willing to go the extra mile, and you're always willing to uh, help others. And that really means a lot in that class. That really means a lot to me and to other classmates. To everyone else, please enjoy your summer. Congrats on graduating eighth grade. Uh, until we meet again, and when we do meet again, we'll be stronger and better than ever. Stay safe, everyone. I'm Mrs. Lawrence. Every day, the morning announcements inform you of the events and happenings at Fugit. The students who participate use their knowledge and experience to organize and direct the action in the studio day after day. This year, one student worked tirelessly every day to make the announcements the best they could possibly be. The award for outstanding achievement in TV production goes to Ryan Aver. From Mr. McCauley and me, congratulations, Ryan. Good morning, eighth graders and eighth grade parents and guardians. Thank you for joining us, albeit virtually. Each six day cycle, we have academic and unified arts teachers meeting to discuss courses, upcoming events, and student progress. Each month, these teachers select students of the month for each team, unified arts, and as English language learners. While there is not a formal criteria, teachers th take things like grades, citizenship, and recent academic and personal growth into consideration when they make their student selections. These students have already been recognized with a certificate and their pictures in the Fugit Flash, but we would like to take some time at this point to recognize them for their work as students of the month this school year. So this year's students of the month were September, Nishant Dubey and Katie Mina, Vivian Lanz Oberti and Shivanan Sa, Marlene Reyes Reyes, and Stella Ramali. Into October, we had Luke Einan and Alexa Rogers, Gianna Cadalesa and James J.J. Stunder, along with Anthony Yahir Reyes Vargas and Maddie T. Into November, we had Isabel Levin and Ryan Price, as well as Yasin Sharif and Bianca Yatsenko and Ava Klaus. In December, we had Audrey Osha and Shravan Rajakapol, as well as Rebecca Opperman and Daniel Rollins. We also had Rowan Al-Shaban and Alexa Rogers. Into the new year in January, we had Ryan Kin and Lauren Wassel, as well as Max Condit and Leslie Reyes Vargas and Jack Wong. Then in our last month, unfortunately, it had to be February before we um, had the closure hit us. We had Ethan Alshaw, Dominique Dillard, Keith Marlton, Kyla McCormick, and Chase Ecker. Congratulations once again to these students who rose to the top in their respective months and hopefully throughout the rest of their uh, school year at Fugit. We're going to move along in the program. I'll be back on later to speak with you again. Hello, eighth grade students and parents. My name is Mrs. Moises, and it is my privilege to present the John H. Hewlett III ELD Award. This award is given to an eighth grade student who is learning English as a second or additional language, and who has shown exceptional effort and initiative in developing English language skills. The recipient of this year's award shows a strong desire to learn. He is self-motivated. He strives to understand and to be understood when communicating in English. He is willing to take risks and experiment while working to master English grammar and the academic vocabulary of the various subject areas. He contributes to the school community while developing his English language skills. It is my very great pleasure to present this award to a student who exemplifies all of these qualities. 
Anthony Jahir Reyes Vargas. Congratulations, Anthony, and we're very excited to see what comes next. Take care. Hey, graders, it's Miss Simpson. Boy, do I miss seeing your smiling faces every single day in the hallways and all your energy and your enthusiasm. We have ended this school year on a very strange note. And I must tell you, I'm so, so grateful to have gotten the opportunity to meet you and work with you these last three years. It's blowing my mind mm -hmm. that it's been three years already since I first met most of you either at the end of fifth grade or the beginning of sixth grade. So I wanted to say thank you for being an amazing class of students. And we really, really appreciate all the work, all the energy, all the fun, and all the amazing things you've done at Fugit. Today, I have the honor and the privilege of presenting three very special awards to three very special eighth grade students. So the first award is the Jean E. Newsom Community Service Award. And each year, it's given to one student in each grade who is a volunteer and service leader within the community, respected by peers, helpful to others, and recognizes the importance of education. And this year, this student definitely deserves this award. He has worked with Best Buddies. He's gotten involved in a lot of other things at Puget Middle School. I know he does things outside of school as well. So it is my honor to get this award to Jude Bennett Johnson, the Jean E. Newsom Community Service Award. Way to go, Jude. This is a very special award. And I'm very honored to present it because uh, Mrs. Newsom, Miss Newsom, is a friend of mine. She was one of my mentors at Fugit Middle School when she was a school caseworker there. So way to go, Jude. You definitely, definitely deserve this award. Good job, buddy. The next award I'd like to present is the Joseph F. Morris Award. And this award is given annually to one student in each grade who has demonstrated steady improvement, throughout the school year in behavior, cooperation with peers and staff members within the classroom and the school building. And this student also continued to work to improve his or her grades throughout the school year. And I can tell you not from just from this year, but the three years since I've known this student, I've seen amazing, amazing growth and maturity. He's working so hard. He's always a pleasure to talk to always has a great attitude in the building, which we love to see. So this year's recipient of the Joseph F. Morris Award is Jeremy Kosha. Way to go, Jeremy. Good job, buddy. And again, this is a really special award that I have the honor of presenting. Mr. Morris was a, an assistant principal and a principal at Fugit Middle School for many, many years. And I was lucky enough to know him for even longer than that because I taught his daughter when she was only three years old um, in the area of Westchester. So again, Jeremy, great job, greatly earned and deserved award. The final award I'd like to present is the Karen Vest L. Livingston Citizenship Award, and it's given in memory of a Westchester Area School District teacher, Karen Vest. It's given to an eighth grader, only an eighth grader, who not only maintains outstanding academic performance, but who also demonstrates true citizenship by participating in service to others, in school, out of school, and this award is selected through school counselor department as well as the social studies department. And this year's recipient of the Karen Vest Al Livingston Citizenship Award certainly deserves it. She's an amazing young lady and we are so proud of her. I'm so glad I got the opportunity to get to know her in the three years at Fugit Middle School. So please help me congratulate Alexa Rogers. Way to go, Alexa. Um, definitely well-deserved award for you, kiddo. So again, I'd love to say um, I miss you guys. I miss seeing everybody every day. And I'm hoping I'll get to see you pretty soon, at least to see all those smiling faces in person. So have a great, wonderful day, day today. And again, congratulations to Jude, Jeremy, and Alexa for these honors. 
You guys take it easy. Enjoy the rest of the program. Bye-bye. Hello, my name is Susan Amsterdam Grossman and I've been the school psychologist at Fugit Middle School for the past nine years. I am here to present the Linda Castanova Award, which is awarded to the student who has made the most progress in their time here at Fugit. This year's winner is a student whom I've seen grow tremendously over the past three years. Nana, when you first came to Fugit, you had very minimal skills, and now you can do so much more. Your teacher, Miss Whitney, had this to say about you. Nana has truly been one of those students you will never forget as a teacher. I have been amazed by his growth in such a short time, and I hope he continues to blow us away in high school. I have loved every second of being his teacher. I am so proud of you, Nana. Congratulations to you. On behalf of all the staff here at Fugit, we wish you the best in high school. Bye now. Good morning again. I hope that everyone is enjoying the program so far. Our next award is for the Principal's Awards for Academic Excellence, presented annually to students who achieve a 90% or higher in all academic subjects. Please join me in congratulating the following students. Ryan Abair, Arush Ali, Alexandra Barnes, Audrey Beckman, Chloe Bidigari, Emma Campbell, Peter Carr, Alex Chen, Ava Klaus, Olivia Crockett, Caroline Degler, Ritu Desai, Mia DeVito, Dominic Dillard, Nashat Dubey, Nolan Dugan, Cecilia Evans, Luke Einan, Stella Feeney, Emma Foley, Robert Gallagher, Bryn Gonsi, Emma Greaves, Ricky He, Samantha Hyland, Ava Hughes, Atticus Jarrett, Ella Kennedy, Rory Kennedy, Mary Lacey Kluber, Natalie Lynch, Avery Malone, Kobe Mon, Stephen McCaffrey, Kyle McCormick, Maxwell McDermott, Rebecca Opperman, Evan Patterson, Jessica Pinto, Ryan Price, Stella Ramali, Tyler Rice, Alexa Rogers, Gloria Russo, Shivana Sa, Brian Sheely. Jeannie Shore, Grace Slusser, James Stunda, Alexi Tanneros, Liza Tiramamidi, Neil Verma, Lauren Wassel, and Bianca Yatsenko. How about a hand of applause for all of our awardees? The next award is for the J.R. Fugit Scholar Award presented to eighth grade students who receive the Principal's Award for all three years of their tenure at Fugit Middle School. Please join me in congratulating the following students. Alexandra Barnes, Chloe Bidigari, Emma Campbell, Peter Carr, Alex Chen, Caroline Degler, Mia DeVito, Nishant Dubey, Stella Feeney, Emma Foley, Ella Kennedy, Rory Kennedy, Avery Malone, Kobe Mon, Ryan Price, Tyler Rice, Alexa Rogers, Caroline Rutterow, Brian Sheely, Elizabeth Stanford, and Alexi Tanneros. Again, how about a hand for all of our awardees? Thank you. And now I will turn the program over to Dr. Mattia, who is going to share some closing remarks and our next steps for moving forward with our program. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Small. I'm very privileged to be able to close out our eighth grade ceremony. Um, saddened, of, like everyone, I think that it has to be done virtually, but I'm still very proud of the work of our students during their three years here at Fugit, and I'm honored to be able to sit here before you and, and make some remarks. 
I want to thank all the parents, guardians, and relatives for their support yeah, of our eighth graders throughout their few year career, especially during this last stint here during the pandemic. Uh, I hope you appreciate the job that you've done. It is, I'm reminded every day how hard it is to be a parent. It's the hardest job there is. Um, and you likely don't hear it enough, but your, your children, they do love you and they do appreciate all you do for them. So eighth graders, please keep that in mind. Um, your parents, guardians, relatives, they all want what's best for you and they're all gonna do what they can to do so, to support you. So please do keep that in mind. I also wanna take just a, a minute or two here to thank all the people that helped you, eighth graders, during your time at Fugit. That would be your sixth through eighth grade teachers. Um, that would be uh, certainly Miss Simpson, uh, who a finer guidance counselor you will not find. Um, our specialized staff, our support staff, our custodial staff, um, and of course our, our wonderfully supportive PTO. Uh, to all these folks, uh, thank you for making this three years the best that it possibly could be for our eighth grade students. Um, you're a big part of, of why their time here was so successful, so thank you. Now to our eighth grade students, just wanted to share a couple of words with you. First, great job. You made it through middle school. I've been telling you for three years how hard it is to be a middle school student. Social media, distractions, we'll throw in a pandemic and a school closure just to really test you. You've met that challenge. You've met every challenge that's been in front of you. Great job. So whether or not you got a formalized award today or not, you made it through Fugit Middle School, a great school, a challenging school, and a tough time to be a kid. Congratulations. Now, you're gonna move over to the high school setting in just a couple short months. That is also gonna be challenging. You need to take what you've learned at Fugit and apply it over there, whether it be East or another place. That means you don't make the soccer team, you don't get the part in the play, you bomb out on an Algebra two test. Well, you learn from it, just like you learn from things here at Fugit. Things don't always come easy, and it's how you respond to challenges that make you who you are. You've done it here at Fugit. We know you can do it at East and beyond. So continue to make the choices to learn from every aspect of your life. Now, before I get to my very closing remarks here at the end of our ceremony, I want to share two more things with our eighth grade students. Number one, you've been through a lot this school year. When the restrictions have been eased this summer, take some time to be a kid. You deserve it. And two, along with that one, maybe it's a 1A, is make good choices. You're still representing yourself, your family, your school, and your community. Make good choices, but if you slip up, own those choices. So unfortunately, that brings our time together to a close. I can't tell you how many times throughout these three years that we've been together that the teachers and staff members of our school have said what a great class you are. I've said it several times, and you truly are a great class. We're going to be sad to see you go. However, let's look at the silver lining there. We got to see you grow over the course of the three years. We got to share some great things together. So while you are, most of you are gonna be over at East next year, if we happen to cross paths, make sure to take some time to say hello. We do care about you and we miss you and we can't wait to see what you do next. So as we say goodbye to our eighth graders, know that you've left quite a legacy here at Fugit. We'll miss you. Uh, but we know you're going to achieve great things, and we look forward to seeing those great things. So on behalf of Fugit Middle School, we wish your families the very best this summer and beyond. It was a pleasure to have you here for the last three years. So before I send you on your way virtually, I would like to thank Mr. Allen for putting this virtual award ceremony together. It was a huge undertaking. Similarly, I'd like to thank Ms. Sebasic, Ms. Abbott, and Mr. McCauley for their roles in putting some of the videos and photos you're gonna see in just a minute together. So if we were present at school right now, we would have a procession of every eighth grader across the stage. Unfortunately, we can't do that. So instead, we're gonna have 
our yearbook photo procession of every eighth grade student flash across your, your screen in just a couple moments. I do want to point out that it is very important that you stay tuned after those photos for the great things, the videos, and a collage of photos throughout your three years here at Fugit. You don't want to miss that. So goodbye for now. We miss you, and we can't wait to see what, what's next for you. Take care.
sister, I'll never give up on you. Hey, Mrs. Hey, mister, I'll see this all the way through. No matter how far the sun and the moon, I'll never give up. On you Down when you're lonely I'll pull you up Life leaves you heavy When the going gets tough I'll be your shoulder Together we'll run Up from the bottom Yeah, we'll rise above Hey brother, hey sister I'll never give up on you Hey, Mrs. Hey, Mr. I'll see this all the way through No matter how far the sun and the moon I'll never give up
direction and the mirror's reflection I'm a-dancing all with myself I when there's no one else inside I in the crowd and lonely night Well, I wait so long for my love vibration And I'm dancing all with myself It'll give me time to think If I had a chance I'd have a one to dance And I'll be dancing on with myself I, 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 I'm dancing on with myself I, I, I'm dancing on with myself Well, there's nothing to lose So there's nothing to prove well, I'm dancing on with myself I, 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 I,
Sole tu sei qui con me, 